Louisiana Beer Reviews. It's 9, 10 a.m. It's very sunny. We're looking at Big Top Brewing Company's Circus City India Pale Ale. 6.8% alcohol, 68 IBUs. People are cutting grass. People are going to the store. People are doing this and that. I bought this at Trader Joe's on US Highway 92 southbound in St. Petersburg, Florida. And all these Florida beers just keep coming at me. Hey, look, you know what? This is the first video review for this beer in the world. And it's just a little handful of reviews on Ray Beer and Beer Advocate. I'll have to look at them. Well, what do we know about this beer? Well, we do know it's in Sarasota, Soda, Florida. I was in Florida last month, and look, hey, I was on US Highway 41 going from Miami to Tampa. The Tammy Amy Trail. Tam, Tampa, Miami. Well, I was actually going to St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay area. So I always say I should get on 41 and go through all the downtowns. Fort Myers, Sarasota, Bradenton. But I never do it. I, I lose patience. I cut off on that little new highway, that new four-lane highway in Fort Myers. I'm going mobile. Do, do. Beep, beep, beep. And um, I just get on 75 and I'm just, you know, hitting it. Hitting that high speed and getting on 275 and crossing that bridge and going into St. Petersburg. But honestly, all kidding aside, if I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have had time to go shopping and get this. I'd have gone through downtown. By the time I'd have gotten to St. Petersburg, I'd have had a little time to rest. Go over to the stadium park near the stadium for free, I might add. Get my little $10 ticket, I might add. You say $10 for a Major League Baseball game? Yeah, I was using Street Master. And um, so it's a trade-off. Like, you can't do this if you want to do that. But I did visit Big Cypress National Refuge, and I did visit 10,000 Islands National Wildlife Refuge, and I walked on the trails and took all these beautiful photographs. So it's like, can't do everything in a day. Okay, thick. Now, somebody was saying, Greenleaf was saying, oh, you always complaining about there being too many IPAs. Hey, I'm not complaining. Honestly, I appreciate you watching Greenleaf. Um, I do get mostly negative comments from him. It would be nice to f get a positive comment once, just once, you know. But you know, it's all good. But you know, you feel me? It's all good. You're. But anyway, so um, uh, I was saying, uh, he was saying, you always complain. I'm not complaining. I don't care if there's ten thousand IPAs chasing this craft beer world. Okay, make twenty thousand, make a hundred thousand. You know, uh. You used to hear about, oh, uh, back in the 1970s, there was a uh, hundred different macro lagers and they all tasted the same, fizzy yellow stuff, and it was different labels and all tasted the same. Okay, well, ugh. hello? Uh, but I mean, I don't care. It's not my problem. Start a brew, everybody, everybody should start a brewing company, like everybody. And then they can complain that it's too difficult to make it in the beer world. Okay. It's Anheuser Bush. It's MBAF, the evil empire. The government should subsidize me. Yeah, the government does subsidize corn production, and do I support that? No, I do not. Okay, enough rant and rave with Ronald or Jay. Pretty thick, off white head. It's uh, hazy. It's uh, mm, it's more gold. Yeah, it's not orange. It's gold. So, have I been to Fort Myers and Sarasota and uh, Naples and uh, right now, I've been on the outskirts. I mean, I went downtown to one of those places, like sort of like downtown, two years ago to um, the Travel Lodge. It's like midnight. We didn't see anything. We saw the, the lobby and the room and some kind of questionable people hanging out in the parking lot. Um, obviously, there's a lot more to that town than that, but we were so exhausted. But I did find Colt 45 High Gravity pint cans uh, the next morning at the gas station, and I was able to purchase that for traveling uh, purposes and whatnot. Okay. This smells very um, interesting. 
No, it doesn't have that, like I've said, insipid canned pineapple aroma. No, it does not. It has more of an anchor. I know the sun is glaring in my face. I just feel like I'm bathed in sunlight. It has more of an anchor IPA, which we remarked. I remarked Tom the Beer Whisperer. We were talking about that, commenting about it, how it had a, 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 a like an olive oil type thing. It was weird, you know, I said olive oil, but he said it, he thought it was strange too, like it, something weird about it. This one is like that too, it's not bad, it's just different, it's, you say, any, what you're trying to say is it's not run of the milk, correct. I'll try to describe it, it's like pungent and hop oil, but not pine, not... It's oh, apricot or mango, but it's not that. But it's, I don't know, it's something. You have to buy it and try it. Go to Trader Joe's and buy this and try it. The flavor. Well, the flavor is different. Just like the aroma. Some caramel, some malt, some... Um, Hey, if you're looking for, this is on drafting cans. If you're looking for real bitter stuff, super bitter hop festival, nah. You know, you would think these people would call me and ask me if I'm going to do a review before they start cutting a, a yard, but do they? No, they do not. Sears? There's a picture of an old downtown Sarasota, I guess, and it says Sears. you get this copyright cleared? I bet you did not. Hotel Sarasota. Um, it's hazy. It's bubbly. It's a weird color too. It's more gold than orange, but there's, there's orange components. There's Okay, the bitterness exists. It is not super bitter, but there is a hop presence. It's a a resinous type thing. It's some fruit sweeter than more more sweeter than bitter. Some malts. Um, you know what? It smells kind of musty and funky, like a circus tent. But all the circus animals. The mouthfeel is well, I would say heavy. At least high medium. Hope that's a good omen. Um Kind of a heavy mouthfeel, a little chewy. It finishes semi-dry. It's pretty good though. I mean, it's, you gotta admire it because it's not just root. It's not just, you know what I mean? The same old drudgery, if you want to call drink and beer and reviewing a drudgery, which is kind of a stupid thing to say. <laughs> um. I like it. I like it. I don't love it. I don't adore it. It's a little perplexing, but it's very interesting. It almost has, now you say, it almost has some malt liquor characteristics. Well, I mean, it is. It's a high gravity beer. So, you know, it's tech going to be techno. It is a malt liquor, just like Guinness Foreign Extra Stout says malt liquor. Even though it's an ale, yes, an ale can be a malt liquor, because a malt, the term malt liquor is a nebulous term. It just means strong. It means strong beer. Okay, so it's a strong beer. It is a strong beer, so uh, I would rate it um, 
it's difficult. I, I'll say, let's cut down the middle. I'll say A minus. You say, that's just conservative. You're just trying to um, use a default rating. In a way, that's true, but I'm trying to be careful. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say A minus. It is an excellent. beer and if you see it and from what I can see on the internet you probably won't but if you see it buy it and try it you probably now I don't know if you'll like it but you'll find it different interesting um unique so laissez les bon temps relay thank you Florida for all the pleasure you've given me over the years I like Florida and you know what I was born in an area that used to be part of Florida yes bad ten Rouge was part of Florida until 1810. Y'all come, and y'all come on down to sunny, not so humid today, Louisiana.